Hey everyone, this is Brie. Okay, so I found myself saying yes to a certain extremely cute four-year-old who is having a birthday soon, but saying yes to him having a birthday party. <laughs> and it's gonna happen tomorrow. He just he just really wanted one yesterday. And so we're having it tomorrow and I want to clean up the outside of my house anyway. So this is a good day to do it. We've got boxes of things that need to be put together. Curtain rods that will not get put up right now. <clears throat> boxes, boxes, mop, boots, just stuff everywhere. Oh, there's, there's one of his birthday presents. It's a little apron for cooking. There's kind of toys scattered and my own tools. I'm just as much to blame for the mess. I've got the gorilla card. I've got stuff all over the yard over here. The babies like to throw toys off the side of the porch. And then we've got the backyard too that has like toys and all this stuff. So anyways, before you get on me about not making my kids clean up, I make them clean up all the time. But sometimes, you know, we work longer than we thought or I just say go inside and I don't worry about it. But anyway, we're gonna clean up today or I'm gonna clean it up today. I have been wanting to turn this space into like a hangout area. And so I bought um, a porch swing and then like a conversation set. I was thinking I could hang ferns up here. I really want to do railing boxes. They're kind of out of my price range right now because I bought the patio set, but I have been looking at that patio set for a while. And when I looked today, it was on sale. So I bought it. I just have to go pick it up here in a little bit. And I think ferns will look so beautiful with the white of the house. I actually already have two little ferns right there that a friend gave me for hosting a party for her. I'm not just doing this for the birthday party. This has been on my list of things to do for a while. I'm not necessarily the cleanup of the yard, but the making the porches beautiful. It's expensive to buy furniture for porches this big and to style porches this big. So we'll just do a little bit at a time, but I felt really excited that that patio set was on sale. And eventually, you know, I'll want to put a rug out there and you know, just make it really cute out there. But we're also going to clean up this porch. This is where the dog and the toddlers hang out. So we keep it kind of like this so that the dog can't tear up the cushions. And so the babies can't climb on here and then climb off of the porch. We keep everything pulled away from the railings, except they can't get on there because of the way it's turned. So I'm going to put this space back together, but then I'm also going to hang some curtains um, up here because I've been wanting some privacy. Like I have no privacy on this lot. I'm completely <laughs> exposed to every neighbor. Now the budget for curtains back here is zero and I have a couple that I'm going to try out back here that I bought a long time ago and forgot to return. And so they're not my favorite, but they're just what I'm going to use today. The other thing I'm going to do is just put in like a hook here and a hook here and string some jute string up to put the cur to put the curtains on. I won't make it totally private back here today, but just working towards it, little steps. I think sometimes at least I can get really overwhelmed, especially in this new big house, how to turn it cozy and into a space that is inviting like in every space but I just remind myself all the time. I just have to do a little bit at a time. The babies throw their toys off everywhere. Okay, this is the fire pit. This is where the birthday party is mostly gonna happen, is back here. And so I just want to set it up a little bit nicer back here with this great patio furniture I have. All right, outdoor cleaning day inspiration. To be honest, I'm not even worried about the inside of the house because that's just a quick tidy and clean the bathroom. Everything else in there is pretty clean right now. The first thing I want to do is put together this porch box. A company called Patio Well actually sent it to me and I'm really excited about it because I've needed something like this. So when they offered to send it to me, I was like, yes, I would love it, but I need to put it together. And you know what? I don't even know if I'm going to put it on the porch. I think I'm going to put it down by the crawl space so that we can throw like kids toys in there and stuff like that, that they're always hauling out and it'll just make it easier to do yard cleanup. That's what I'm thinking. This is what it's supposed to look like. It looks simple enough because as you guys know, this is not my gifting. <laughs> but I mean, it's a box. How hard could it be?
second genius, basically. All right, you see how messy this porch is? Watch me clean it up. This is too heavy for me to move, so I'm gonna get help with that later. So kind of a blank canvas. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this green stock together. I'm not filling these up right now. I'm just getting them unboxed and ready to be filled. All right, green sock, good job. You made this very, very easy. Won't those look beautiful filled with flowers? And then like the patio set will be right here and those will be on either side. Or I could even do like either side of the door. Maybe even make that whole side of the porch kind of a kid garden I know it's shady right now but for half the day it gets a lot of sun I think with the summer sun changing it may not actually though but then we can just put them out in the yard which would be cute too I think we're gonna do that at some point all right I think this is the perfect spot for it for now at least we can put garden tools in there that fit put the hose in there if we wanted to we can put the uh tarps in there that we'll probably just keep those in the crawl space but I keep that locked so having easy access to things like spades and hori horis and other garden tools is really great and also we can just throw the kids crap in there for a quick yard cleanup which is always nice that's why I keep baskets around my house so why not baskets outside to go to Lowe's so that we can do the fun stuff you're not gonna believe it but this is actually oh that's bright the next day I got very distracted at Lowe's and then I had to run into Target and got very distracted at Target so we'll see how much I get done today today is the birthday party making the porches nice has nothing really to do with the birthday party I was just hoping to get it done but everything is ready for the birthday party and that's what matters today so now that I'm done with all that, I have a couple hours before it starts. So I am going to hopefully get this porch furniture put together. And let me show you. I got the ferns. There's some there. There's some over there. Now I'm gonna put them up here. But then my friend was telling me that ferns don't really like sun. So I may end up just putting them on the back porch. But I'm gonna try for up there today and then maybe I'll do hanging flowers there instead if it is too much sun. I don't think there's any way I can get this up on the porch. So, I'll probably just put it together down here and then put the pieces up on the porch. But you know I'm gonna try. End over end, oh yeah, that's easy. Look at that. That took two men to get in my car, and so did that. So the kids, one of the kids was climbing 
from the outside of the deck onto the front. And that happened. Actually, it's not as bad as it looks. I guess that little white piece down there, see there's one. That popped off and we can't find it to put it back. So I need to fix that. I'm gonna fix it. Kids are rough on things and you can teach them to respect things and they will over time. But they're also just, they don't have prefrontal cortexes. Like they're impulsive and that's just the way kids are. And so yes, we can talk about responsibility and we can encourage fix things that are broken. And when they're 25, you know, that stuff will come to fruition before then somewhat, but you know, as they grow, the prefrontal, the prefrontal cortex, I'm pretty sure is fully matured at like 25. But when you're four, it is not mature. <laughs> so the way I handle stuff like this is I do not get mad at my kids. Um, we just talk about it. We just talk about how it has to be fixed and it costs money and you know, things like that. And I try really hard not to shame my kids over stuff, especially things that are accidents. So that was an accident of a very excited child that felt incredibly big because he was able to climb up over that porch just like his big brothers. And then I'm not for a second gonna squash that feeling in him of pride for doing something that he has longed to do and felt like he couldn't do. And then he could. Why would I squash that? So anyway, that's kind of how I handle stuff like that with my kids. I know I said I wasn't gonna get a rug, but I went to Target, just to peek, and this one was on sale, and Target often will have these sales on Target brand diapers and wipes that if you buy so many, you get a gift card. And they run this sale all the time, so I always look for that sale, and then that's whenever I buy my diapers and wipes, and you get like $20 gift cards. Sometimes they're $10. So I had a bunch of those, so I basically got this for free. So thank you, Royal and Truly, for needing diapers. What I do when I get that stuff, and then also the points for, I don't have the Target debit card, but you just get points for using the Target app, or you get like money back for using the Target app. I just save all that stuff up. And then whenever I, there's something I want that I really kind of don't want to spend money on, um, I have all this money in my Target account to spend at Target. Now, do I want to use the white side or the brown side? I don't know. Oh yeah, I like the white side a lot, but it's going to get super dirty, so I think we'll use the brown side, because that's the wise thing to do. Ooh. Oh, the kids are going to love this stick. <laughs> kids love stuff like this. Free toy. screws or anything. Maybe pliers? Look at that. Here's something I love about this little set. Other than that, it was the colors I wanted. Is that it has this little um, footstool, right? That goes with the chairs. But the footstool also just slides right under. Like that. Cute. Cute, cute. Now, when the porch swing is here, I think I'm gonna put the chairs there maybe. See, so like porch swing chairs, so it'll be like a whole like hangout area. I mean, I think it's comfortable. Is it the lushest set you'll ever buy? No. I feel like it was pretty expensive, but for my experience, patio furniture is expensive unless you get it off Facebook. And it's so interesting because all the stuff I was finding on Facebook is like years old, practically dilapidated and people still want hundreds of dollars for it and I was like no way this was exactly what I wanted I can't believe I found it and I'm really happy that I got it yesterday when it was on sale now we can hang out and watch the kids play I think another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a gate from here to here and then that way the babies can play over here in the conversation area but not be able to run out into the yard and then the big kids can kind of play without having to watch the babies and we can just all be outside like this, hanging out. I 
that's cute. I mean, it's not the same as having them up here, but it's pretty. But you guys, can you imagine what it's gonna look like when I have an amazing garden here? My plan this fall is to plant hundreds of tulips and daffodils and irises along here, like make a really pretty bed. And of course, on the other side as well. In my dreams, <laughs> there are flowers and plants and life everywhere, except a, a few key spaces where my kids can play. One day, this place is going to be a garden of Eden with vegetable gardens and flower gardens and vegetables and flower gardens and fruit trees and fruit bushes and I want to put in some hazelnuts. Ooh, I don't know why it does that. And I want to put in some hazelnuts and it's just, what do you think about hazelnuts? Like all along this edge, it gets full sun. That's where I took down those cedars, or now we think they maybe they were not cedars, but anyways, I'm gonna clear our, our section of woods here. I'm gonna grow mushrooms in there. Um, I'm gonna build tree house and forts for the kids in there. I have vision. It just takes time for it to come to life. Now we are going to hopefully hang something to hang curtains. I, I don't know. I feel like I need to know how to use a drill to do any of this, but I had some ideas. I'm gonna try them out. I just, I just want some privacy. Like, I love being able to see my garden, but everyone can see me all the time, no matter where I am on my property. So, I want to put curtains here, here, and here. Okay. Is it janky? Yes. Do I have privacy and it's not too janky? Also yes. Did I only spend a couple dollars? Also yes. So, do I love it? No, but is it giving me privacy at least on one side? And, I mean, it's kind of fun looking. It's just definitely, definitely janky. <laughs> the top especially. <laughs> That's so nice. It is time to party. You may be wondering why I didn't decorate for his birthday party, and it's because his birthday isn't until tomorrow. And we have a long-standing tradition as a family to decorate for the birthday boy the night before his birthday, like all together. And then when he wakes up in the morning or she wakes up in the morning, they come down to their decorations. So we're still gonna do it that way and not put up the birthday decorations until tonight all together while he's sleeping. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll check out that patio well um, porch box. It's I really like it. I think it's gonna be awesome to store stuff in. I'll link it below relaxing on my front porch while I wait for everyone to get here. Feels really nice.